What's up, everyone? <laughs> Today I'm going to be reacting to one of my favorite YouTubers. I found this guy recently. He's pretty new to the scene. His name is Roman, and he talks about NoFap. I found him to be very interesting, very funny. I haven't watched his video. I'm going to go ahead and watch it now, and uh, see how it goes. NoFap for six years, and if you ask me, is NoFap worth it? My answer is an astounding yes. Uh, I'm also on NoFap, by the way, and of course, the benefits of NoFap are completely real. There are, out, there are people out there that are going to tell you that the world is a scam. No, uh, porn is a part of the scam that the West presents to you, and being on NoFap is an absolute must. But even when you go on NoFap, your brain will never ever be the same again. It's kind of being someone who's recovered from cocaine. You're not going to be the same after recovering from cocaine, cocaine even when you've recovered. I'm not sure if that means you'll, you'll miss having cocaine, but um, being on NoFap is definitely not easy. Uh, it's definitely recoverable, and you'll become a better person, but you'll just never be the same again after watching porn in the first place. And if you haven't started your NoFap journey, you have to start your NoFap journey, or else um, you're going to become soulless sooner than later if you aren't already. But if you want to take back your life, whatever it may be, it doesn't matter if you have a million dollars in your bank account or if you have zero dollars in your bank account. The minute you watch porn, you're a fucking loser. It's as simple as that. And if you want to live your life like a soulless loser, then porn is a thing you do. But if you really want to take control of your life and accomplish your dreams, you have to cut NoFap out of your life. You are meant to do great things, but you can only accomplish them by removing porn out of your life. Hi, I'm Roman Amiro now. There are a few things that I hate in life but fapping is definitely one of them. Here's my account of no fap experience and four benefits that I'm so happy about. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel. And if you are on YouTube, please click the alert notification button. That way you'll get notified about my weekly videos. Question for you. When were you most embarrassed about fapping? Let me know. That's a good question. When was I most important? Uh, blah, blah, blah. That's a really personal question. <sighs> you only become embarrassed about being a fapper after you become someone who starts, tries to practice no fap. Because what's going to happen is you won't notice this, but in your life, when you get the opportunity, you'll bust a nut once every three days at least, or sometimes three times a day at least. That's when you're on porn addiction. Porn is an actual drug. And the evil thing about the Western society is if you look up, is porn healthy? It will say yes, as long as you take it in moderation or whatever the fuck, which is a complete lie. But it's like that because they want to destroy your life. The people on top will give you false guidance about porn, about the LGBTQ being natural and about a lot of other things about adderall about everything in your life it's a complete lie meant to destroy you and keep you in depression so people that have big companies can profit off of your soul being devoured by the stuff that they could that they create so that you can consume that can destroy you now when does watching porn become shameful the minute you are on your no fap journey let's say you are no fap for a week or two weeks and then you relapse that's when it becomes shameful because that's when you'll notice that Fapping has actually fucked your life over and you'll notice the difference when you haven't fapped and when you've fapped and then after you haven't fapped for two weeks, uh, you haven't fapped for two weeks and if you, let's say, relapse, which is going to happen when you first start the no fap journey, you're going to have a, you're going to relapse. It takes some time. If you have a mega mental, then maybe you won't relapse, but uh, that's when you'll start to feel shameful. It's when you're trying to quit, but when you're not trying to quit, it doesn't feel shameful because it feels normal. I started fapping when I was around 12. When I was 20. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, with all due respect to this guy, I love this guy, but um, got a weird message. That's a lot of. That's why a lot of people. Uh, this is why a lot of people, when you're younger, when you have lots of energy and they don't, they'll all think that you're weird. 
Everyone around you, if you're not a porn addict at the age of 12, is weird, but they'll always classify you as the weird one because you're the only one that's normal in a society full of weird people. And the dark truth is, I started NoFap, or when I, I started jerking off uh, when I was 18, after I broke up with my first girl to overcome uh, the sexual desires that I had towards her. So the West is a very evil place if you let it consume you. And that's what happened to me. But when I was younger, I never watched porn and I never chased girls. And I was the only weirdo in my life for not doing that. Uh, after I hit grade 10, grade, actually, I started chasing girls in grade eight. That's when I actually started chasing, chasing girls. Obviously, that's the time where I, around that time I started to hit puberty. I started to like girls, but I didn't chase them the way other guys chase them, chase them. Uh, towards girls, uh, I was very strange. Uh, I threw snowballs at them. I was violent towards them. That's how I expressed my love towards them because I didn't know how to express it. While other guys would simp over them, I'd be aggressive towards them because I didn't know what else to do. Obviously, I was young. I was like around 12, 13. Uh, as I grew older, I learned the hard way that that was wrong because I had the simps fight me every fucking day until the whole school was against me. Every single time I went home, and this, was, this doesn't necessarily have much to do with girls, but every single time I went home, my parents were like, what the fuck is wrong with my child? Why is my child the only child in the entire school getting to fight with a bunch of other kids? And why are the other kids hating my child in every single school that he goes to? A part of it is because the West is a really toxic place. And if you're normal, you're outcasted. I don't think I was necessarily normal, but I was definitely different for being one of the only people that didn't watch porn. Because if I watched porn, my parents would kill me. And they'd kill me if I got into a fight at school. They'd kill me if I lost that fight in school. It was really fucking brutal. <laughs> so long story short, the West is a fucking scam. If you fit in, you're fucked. And if you don't fit in, you're fucked. The only way you're not fucked is if you know exactly what's going on around you and why everyone else is fucked and why you should only worry about yourself. But at a young age, I couldn't actually comprehend what's going on and why I had no friends. But I definitely did some things that I am very responsible for triggering other people. A lot of people called me autistic, but I feel like I had different problems. I think music played a, a big factor in my life. The more I listened to music, the more strange I became because I lived in a fantasy world. Music has a similar effect as porn in a different way, depending on the kind of music that you listen to. It's kind of like drinking, drinking different kind of alcohol. It will have different effects on your brain. With that being said, with that being said, this is why... In the earlier days, hundreds of years ago, people were getting married at the age of 13 and 14. It's not because they lived shorter lives. It's because they didn't have to watch porn and it was completely to get normal to get married for a noble purpose. And the noble purpose is to provide for your family and have sex. This is why society strived to get us where we are today. And today we call it evolution by having sex with a bunch of whores before marriage. So... I have no idea how we got to this stage. I have absolutely no idea. What my theory is, there are people on top that still practice no sex before marriage, but they, no, but, but, but that's, yeah, they practice no sex before marriage, but in, but in order for them to obtain world domination, they manipulate mankind into having sex before marriage so that they can destroy societies and control them by practicing ethical, but making everyone else unethical. So that's the logic behind people today being completely immoral. It's just simply so that people at the top can stay at the top and you can stay at the bottom. And the only people that will ever benefit in life are those that are truthful and hardworking. Because the people at the top influencing people at the bottom and destroying their lives, what's going to happen to them is their kids are going to get infected with the same problems that they're creating for themselves. And so with that being said, I guess it's your responsibility to do the right thing and avoid cultures that, well, for one, force you to even jerk off because you can't get access to marriage without fucking yourself over and just get out of Western culture while you can basically <laughs> one and had a girlfriend and later at 25 when i had a wife i did it less but still did it at 27 i hit a very low point in my life and developed an addiction to fapping it gave me a quick escape from depression the problem was that instant gratification felt good but never lasted and it actually made things worse because I always felt even more depressed afterwards. 
on top of depression, I would also feel shame and guilt. And I would hate myself for lacking self-discipline and wasting time and energy on something stupid like that. When I was 31, I said enough and went no fat. So far, I've been there for six years and I had only two sh Wow, he's 37. <laughs> he talks like he's 22. <laughs> short relapses that only reinforced how good it is for me. The best benefit for me was stopping the pain I felt after masturbating. I would literally hate myself. So much wasted time, struggle, guilt, shame, wasted energy. And what for? A quick escape that never made me happy in the first place. So porn is actually a weapon to destroy uh, humanity. Uh, it's a weapon to made to destroy society by people on top. This is a, a fact, which is why on Google you will see that porn is actually healthy for you. Why? Because the people that are influencing Google in North America want to destroy your life. If you look up, is porn healthy for you in China? It will say no. If you look up, is porn healthy for you in Arabic country? They say no. This is why Andrew Tate says, haha, you're a loser for using Google to back up your facts. Because Google is actually not on your fucking side. Google wants you to suffer. You may think I'm full of shit, but I'm not. Okay, I'm not. And when Andrew Tate says, oh, I might disappear, guys. It's because there are people that will literally want you dead for exposing what they're doing to you. And so the minute society goes off of nofap, they're going to find other ways to suck you in to the matrix. How did I do this? Drugs, baby. Drugs in gaming and whatever they can throw your way to distract you drugs gaming and whores okay drugs gaming and over sexualizing women if there's no fap if there's no fap available what's going to happen is instead of an increase in marriage is going to be an increase in sexual activity so what's going to happen now is an incline in hiv and aids a huge incline right now it's it's still there hiv and aids is common but it's not as common as it's going to be in the next coming years where it's going to just blow the fuck up because people are no longer watching porn. Therefore, now a guy who is a one out of 10 is more confident and can get laid more often and he's going to be bumped up to a three out of 10. So because no fap is going to be a movement. Or, uh, so, so after the red pill movement, men are going to have some sort of power that they didn't have before because they're going to learn how to talk to women. So you're going to see ugly guys with beautiful girls in the next few years. And then we're going to have lots of AIDS. We're going to have lots of HIVs. We're going to have a lot of shitty things happen in North America. North America is going to be infested with a lot of bullshit. Nobody's going to be safe. And therefore, you should get the fuck out of here if you don't want to practice sex before marriage. If you think I'm crazy, that's cool, totally cool. Enjoy whatever's coming to you. Where was I going with this? What did make me happy was finding the strength to quit and feeling in control. I used to go to fapping when I felt some sort of resistance. Say I would be translating a text from one language to another and run into something that I didn't understand. I felt like escaping that challenge and fapping offered a quick way to do so. That's true. That's true. Uh, whenever you run into problems, uh, in order to literally the whole point of jerking off, why it's a weapon. For, oh, that's what I was going. It's a weapon for war. So in order to disarm you, so in order to neuter you, they increase, they, they introduce porn and over sexualization of women in society. And that way they don't have to go to war with you because you're not a man anymore. You've disarmed yourself by watching porn. Now, lower energy to tackle the challenge. That's exactly what happens. Whenever you face an obstacle in your life, let's say your university is completely fucked. Let's say your university is completely rigged. Let's say something completely tragic happens to you. Uh, naturally, if you're a porn addict, you're going to be inclined to go watch porn. Even though you know that you've been oppressed, you're going to go watch porn. You're going to release and you're going to be like, oh, maybe it's not so bad. Maybe I should pay another $100,000 and waste more time and money. Uh, even though I know that I'm not in the wrong. And even though I know that, you know, I worked hard to be exactly where I'm at right now. Even though I'm getting conned, I'm getting scammed. Oh, well, let's go watch porn, disarm myself and become a beta male and keep on spending money to go nowhere in life and then end up marrying a whore that's going to 
literally enslave me and destroy my life completely. That's what porn does to you. Now, let's say you didn't watch porn whenever you face a struggle. What's going to happen is going to punch, 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 punch. And you're going to be fighting very big opponents. And those opponents are obviously in your head. You're going to be fighting really big guys and you're going to be at the very bottom. But at least when you're punching, you're going somewhere because you're getting stronger. And then when you get knocked out, you can eat food, recover, and come back stronger. But when you don't do that, when you actually watch porn instead, you see the big guy, instead of fighting him in the ring, you don't actually end up fighting him. You end up walking and hiding under the ring and staying under there while everyone is either laughing at you or now there's more big guys in the ring waiting for you to come out of underneath the ring. So, literally, porn is meant to consume you. And eventually, if you keep watching porn, then you are going to be less than an ant in society. So, but... When I was finished, my energy and my resolve that I needed to press on were even lower. Now that I'm free from fapping, I don't look for an escape from challenges. I save the energy that I would previously... So, okay, people have this misconception that when you don't know fap, your life is going to magically get better. It's not going to actually magically get better. It's just going to give you the strength to fight. You're not, you're not necessarily going to win, but you're still going to fight. And you, you're definitely not going to win right away. It's still going to be up to you to fight, 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 fight. You're going to fight until you probably end up homeless. You'll still probably end up homeless, okay? In fact, there might be a bigger chance of you going homeless after you stop fapping. Because now, instead of taking shit from your boss, you might end up fighting back. Because you're aggressive, you're a man now. And then your boss could fire you, and then you might end up homeless for a while. Because you're on no fap now. No fap will do things to your brain. Recovering is not going to be easy. Just because you stop nofap, do not expect your life to get better. Yes, your imp- your perseverance will increase, but now instead of hiding under the ring, you're going to be fighting really tough enemies that have been waiting in the ring to fight you for a very long time that you've neglected your whole life because you've been watching porn. So by no means will your life actually get better when you watch porn. It's up to you to make it better by continuing the fight. You're going to get knocked down over and over and over and over. You probably, you might end up going homeless. You might end up going through some serious shit you're gonna continue getting knocked down over and over and over and you have to continue to fight and fight and fight and fight but that's what being a man is that's what you get to do that's what you live for which is why you have to start your nofap journey eventually after a while only if you're strong enough your life will actually get better but by quitting nofap you better not expect your life to actually get better it's not gonna get better but if you don't quit no but if you don't quit nofap it's only going to get worse <sighs> Life is only good for champions. <laughs> oh, I'm over talking right now, but I'm serious. Your life is not going to get better if, because you're going to quit nofap. You just have to quit nofap in order to fight for your life. That's the only way, okay? You have to become a strong man. In order to become a strong man, you have to quit nofap. I'm running in circles right now, but I'm the reason why I'm trying to explain myself as thoroughly as possible is because I don't want to dissuade you from uh from, from starting nofap, but I don't want to dissuade you from but, but I don't want to persuade you but, but I, I, I don't want this false illusion of you thinking your life is going to get better. It's not going to get better until you fight for it to be better. But at the same time, okay, you get what I'm saying. Just, you have to start no fap, but don't be a fucking coward is what I'm trying to say. Just ah, butchering it. The waist, and I sit there and I tackle the challenge. Start low fap, fight for your life, and keep your expectations low, and be real with yourself. Actresses look just too good. Real way. Actresses look just too good. Real women seem unattractive compared to them. But that is just a pretty picture. After quitting fapping, I felt so much more attraction to women in my life. I was able to appreciate women for all their abundance and not just the physical beauty that those movies train us to think of. I enjoyed holding hands, deep... Oh boy, okay. Here's something interesting, okay? Uh, after you quit NoFap, uh, you're not going to appreciate women more. You're going to hate women more. Because uh, for a long time, okay, unless you're a very, very good looking guy. Uh, I I wouldn't call my... <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, I'll be straight up honest. Uh, <laughs> I'm an Arabic man in a white society, okay? <laughs> white girls like white guys. Maybe I'm not the most handsome guy. Maybe I am. I don't fucking know. <laughs> I actually don't know. Maybe I'm ugly. Maybe I'm ugly. I'm going to be brutally honest and non-biased. I'm not going to be full of shit, okay? Um, there's a mirror right there. I have green eyes. Uh, I'm okay, right? But um, 
I'm not trying to come off as an incel, but when you quit NoFap, you come to understand that women love attention. They will love attention and they will judge you. There's a self-improvement channel. Uh, it says, if you haven't started playing the game, then you've already lost. Women play the game. They're only chasing the best of the best of the best. If you're not the best of the best of the best, they're only talking to you in order to social climb off of you and use you. And this is red pill mindset. Ah... <sighs> If you are red pill, if you do quit, if you do start no fap, you're gonna start to hate women before you start to appreciate women. Because in order to appreciate women, you have to be at the very top. But you get women out of the picture when you quit no fap and you focus on yourself, which makes women actually attracted to you. So the more you chase yourself, the more women chase you. The more you chase women, the more women become repulsive towards you. So you always have to put women beneath your goals and. Basically, only chase women that you feel like you deserve. And if you truly feel like you deserve the best of the best, then only go for the best of the best women, but never put them on top of you. Always, in a way, demand things from women and keep things with women strictly business. And do not get married in a Western society. When you want to get married, go to a society where marriage is actually valued. This is not me talking. This is any person on their path to success talking and giving you the exact same advice and i don't recommend to the red i don't recommend you to go and fuck and chuck girls it's just personally not who i am but at the same time you should not be associating with western girl at all unless you're associating with them strictly on a business basis but the minute you catch feelings for a western woman you are 100 percent fucked so this is another reason why you're going to hate women after you quit NoFap because women are so used to beta guys and if they look at you and you're not well built, then automatically they assume that you're a beta guy and you have to command respect by foot, putting your foot down their throat consistently and you consistently have to have your guard up because even if you're at the top of the top, women will try to seduce you so that they can gain power over you. That's the dark truth of no fap. So you're fucked if you fap and you're fucked if you don't fap, but if you don't fap, you're going to start fighting for your life. And if you start fighting for your life, you're going to leave North America, which is why people think that their lives are at risk when they tell you to avoid no fap. Hence why Andrew Tate says this all the time. If I go missing, it's not because I killed myself conversations, spending time outside, planning, dreaming together. Okay, that's pretty corny. Not gonna judge though. <laughs> I'm not gonna judge. The man knows his shit. This is what he wants. And personally for me, that's not what I would do with my girl at all. If I get married, I'm getting married not for the commitment. I'm getting married for the sex and for the kids and to look after her. But I'm not there. <laughs> I'm not there to spend time with her or walk with her to the park. Maybe I'll do that maybe with her like a, on our honeymoon uh, one week in a month. But if I'm getting married, I'm going to a different country. We're getting married. We're going to have a house in that area. And then I'm going to other countries to do my work. I'm going to be going all around the world doing whatever the fuck I want to do. Because I'm a man and that's what I want to do. I want to go do good things and contribute to the world. And I'm going to keep my wife safe. But I'm not spending my time with her. That's normie shit. When I have a sexual desire, I have two options. The first and the seemingly convenient one is quick release by fapping. But with fapping out of the question now, the only option left is actually finding a girl. The sexual desire... This is what I meant when I said that um, sexual, the sexual market will increase after the no-fap movement becomes more and more and more and more common. The more people stop fapping, the more guys and girls are going to start having sex. And the more guys and girls are going to have to start having sex, the more girls are th that are going to become actual hoes. The red pill movement is actually a very toxic movement, but it's the only movement that guys go to these days to, um, to find some sort of value and meaning. But the right movement is the Islamic movement of no sex before marriage. I am a Muslim. I highly advise against the red pill movement. I advise you to stay away from porn and to stay away from women overall in the Western culture and to become Muslim and to marry a Muslim woman. That's the only way you're going to be safe. There is no other way because if you follow the red pill movement, what's going to happen is there's going to be an increase in STDs and AIDS and sluts because the red pill movement is about 
Finding a girl with a low body count, having lots of money, and making her your girl. But if she has a body count of over three, then she's a hoe that you can fuck and chuck. And if she is a hoe that you can fuck and chuck, then she's going to have a body count of over 50 very soon because all the men are having the exact same thoughts. And then, even if she has a body count of one and she pisses you off, now she's so emotionally attached to you, you're in control for a high-value man, you can chuck her whenever you want, and then you're fu- and then she's fucked because now she has a higher body count, and then she's going to fu- get fucked around anyways. So the Red Pill movement is a very toxic movement. It's like they're to counter the feminist movement, but they're both very toxic and unhealthy. North America was never an actually feminist society. It's always been a scam society of people trying to destroy each other and to fuck each other over. So, red pill movement versus feminist movement. Red pill feminist movement took over first, but it didn't make America a feminist place. It made America a capitalist place because women just wanted the best of the best of men. And then the red pill movement is now taking over to counter the feminist movement, creating even more chaos, creating the exact same problems, but making them a thousand times more toxic because there's nothing more dangerous than a man that can get what he wants. And if a man can get with a thousand girls and destroy all their lives, that's very, very dangerous. That's almost as dangerous as the feminist movement that's really fucked up. And that's what we're going to see very soon. So I would say a culture that's a feminist culture is the Filipino culture because women are queens. And well, I'm not here to, I love the Filipino culture, but like I've seen my fair share of Filipino people. Women are incredibly seductive and even men act like sissies because they put women above men. That's feminist culture. North American culture isn't feminist culture. It's scam culture. And now it's going to go from women scamming men to men scamming women. That's a whole different thing. Uh, it's still going to be really fucking toxic. So I don't advise being red pill because it's exactly what this guy's saying. The minute you stop watching porn, you're going to have an urge and a desire to have sex. And if you're going to have sex with multiple partners and appreciate lots of women, then... It's going to make society just as dangerous as it was when people are addicted to porn, except more dangerous because now there's going to be an increase of HIVs and AIDS. That's what it's supposed to do by evolution. It pu- Evolution's not real, by the way. Pushes me to... And I know I'm going to get a lot of hate for this. Evolution is not real. The reason why evolution is not real... Oh boy, TLDR. If evolution was real, then we wouldn't have made the mistake of watching pornography. That wouldn't have been a thing. If evolution was real, then why are we evolving backwards? People will say we're evolving from fish to superhumans that can eventually fly one day, but we're actually evolving from superhumans that can evolve one day. We're devolving into a fish mentally. I kid you not. That's what's gonna that's what's that's what's actually happening to us. We're actually devolving in the state of our life, which actually counterclaims the whole point of evolution. If evolution was real then we wouldn't have porn addicts, then we would all be born with a six pack. We would all be born with perfect bodies. Evolution is 100% false. False, false, false. Uh, I'm not gonna get into it because it would take, this video would go on for hours, but there, ah, evolution is just another scam, okay? (laughs) We didn't evolve, we were once human and we are still fucking human. Procreate, so I go out, and I do the thing that is good and healthy for me. I create a relationship. One final piece of no fab motivation. Would you want your son to be addicted to fapping and suffer like you do? If not, then it's time to be a role model. Even if he isn't born yet, do a no fab challenge for 21 days and see what happens. If you suffer from too much mass, pretty good advice, pretty respectable advice, masturbation and in help, check out my life coaching services. My website is www.romanmiranov.com. So, so the, the sun advice is advice that you usually start to think about when you're 25. After you hit 25, you realize uh, if you had a baby right now, you're going to be 50 when he's 25. Uh, once you get a, a certain age, 25 is the sweet spot for me personally, I'm 25. This is when you start to think, okay, I better start getting married. I better start having kids because if I get any older, by the time I'm an old man, my kids are going to be my age and I can't keep up with them. But this is pretty good advice. You have to get your shit together uh, sooner than later because do you actually want your kids to grow up to become victims of the scams that you went through? It's very, very good advice. If you enjoy this video, please like it. 
share it, tell others about it, and subscribe to the channel. If you have any question about NoFap, please leave it in the comments. I'll make sure to get back to you with the answer. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Be version 2.0 of yourself. <laughs> That's, I like this guy because he's really funny. Be, ver be a version, but don't just be a version. <laughs> be a version from girls and porn. I feel like that was a pun intended there. Or or maybe there wasn't a pun and he just meant what he was saying. But th this guy's like passively funny or like indirectly really funny. I found him. But anyways, uh, cool video, I guess. Hmm. Interesting video. Uh, he has... He's on the right track, but not completely there. <laughs> I feel like personally. Um, obviously, we all have a lot to learn. Yeah, that's pretty cool video. Uh, the reason I'm reacting to this guy is because I saw him, I saw him in one of my shorts, and he just piqued my interest. So, so yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.